guys welcome back to the channel this be your boy Fernando and today I want to talk to you guys about me being a barista at Starbucks the company is a great company and me being a barista is something I take joy in every single day it's something that I love doing because it helps me be creative helps me be more outgoing and I'm able to like network and make some friends and have a second home you know it's nothing like having somewhere other than home that you know that you can be comfortable and feel warm vibes from everything and everything just feels normal and right so working there has always been a passion for me and I've been working there for a long long time but today is a very important day and I wanted to talk to you guys about coffee Starbucks coffee and coffee in general there are a lot of people that don't know a lot about this coffee bean and what it can do but in every single cup there's a special, unique flavor and character about it. It's like its own person and it has its own story and every taste is great. But you have to be willing to try it and you have to be willing to, you know, be creative yourself and make it your own because that's the only way you can make a good cup of coffee tastes good sometimes it can be black but for me I liked a little cream and sugar but it's always the main same three and that is blonde roast pike roast and dark roast by the way their coffee is kind of mainly from Latin America, Africa, Asia, Pacific. Yeah, this, that's where they like source from. I mean, but more about the roast. So, with these roasts, blonde roast is like my favorite. It's very soft, it's very smooth. Um, it's mellow, but that's like our light roast at Starbucks. So that's the roast that's gonna have a soft, soft taste. It has a lot of caffeine, so it'll give you that boosted energy that you're looking for. Pike is a medium roast. Um, it's not too crazy. Um, it's balance and it's rich in flavor I can I'll I'll if blonde is not there I'll go for a pike pike is you know medium it's just like it's everything that a good coffee is you know a medium roast is a basically a good coffee where you can start at also we have the dark roast at Starbucks so this roast is bold and robust in flavor. Um, I do not really drink um, our dark roast like that. It's not, I'm not a dark roast guy. There's a lot of people that like and love dark roast. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the type of coffee you like and it's nothing wrong with that's our roast, that's our Starbucks Signature 3 Roast Blonde, Pike, and Dark. So if you ever want to come in Starbucks and just get a regular cup of coffee and hmm, do I want something light? Blonde Roast. Do I want something medium? Pike Roast. Or do I want something robust and bold? 
dark clothes. To each his own. But try it out. See what you like. And when you go to different and other coffee shops, they'll have their own signature, you know, light roast, medium roast, and dark roast. So each is different, but try it out. Always try it out. Or you can always ask for a sample. Doesn't hurt to try. Then with Starbucks and any cafe, you have these special types of coffee. And let me tell you guys, I've tried each and every single one of these. There are ones that I love to drink. There are ones that I love to make. Um, and mainly all of them I love to make. They're like my favorite thing to talk about when someone orders a coffee because it it says a lot about who you are, kind of somewhat, and your character. These are the special types of drinks that cafes have and Starbucks have. So we're going to start out with our basic and that is the espresso. That's like the starter and usually we serve that or can get that in one espresso or you could do a dopio which is two of them. Um, so it's just a shot, just espresso roast. Um, then we have second to best, the Americano. The Americano is espresso with hot water. I do like me a Americano. Americanos are great. I've been doing a lot of the blonde roast and I'll do the Americano. The blonde roast, as we talked about before, is a coffee as well. It's a brewed coffee. And now you could get it in the bean as an espresso. So it's just as good as the coffee. So just imagine having a blonde roast coffee in espresso form and into your drink. It's delicious. So the Americano is just the espresso and hot water and you can put flavors. Vanilla is something I go for. Um, some people do caramel, Carm well, caramel, I said caramel. Mm. Then we have a latte macchiato, which is foam, whole milk. You have to use whole milk to get that rich goodness, marked with shots of espresso. It's like milk froths into foam, and then you let the shots go right on top. And then we have a flat white, which is one of my favorites. Um, I don't really drink my latte macchiatos like that, but I do love making them. Um, but the flat white is where it's at for me, because I love me a flat white. Um, a flat white is sweet ristretto shots, ristretto espresso shots, finished with steamed whole milk. So it is whole milk still um, with that drink, um, which is good. I love whole milk sometimes. I don't drink whole milk all the time, um, but that whole percent, you know, Mm, mm, mm. But the bruschetta shots are one of my other favorite shots of espresso because they're they're more they're like they're like really smooth. Um, it's just like really smooth. Like yes, like a sweet smooth taste. Then we have. The cappuccino. Um, like I said, cappuccinos, flat whites are kind of close, similar almost, but the cappuccino gets so, like, kind of way more foam and more fall. 
and you can make it dry or you can make it wet and there's two different types of you know ways that that comes out when you talk about a wet cappuccino or a dry cappuccino but because it's kind of similar to a flat white but it's more foam and if you do like foam which sometimes I do like neofoam um, cappuccino and you know it's not wrong with it if you have especially yeah because I mainly do my drinks with ristretto and um, blonde roast and I'm always just like <sighs> I combine combine the two the ristretto and the blonde It's like heaven. Then, guys, last but not least, we have the cafe latte, which is a shot of espresso steamed in milk, lightly topped with foam. And, you know, lots of people have lattes, lots of people have cappuccinos, and lots of people have their Americanos, most mainly. Yeah, that's a little bit about like the types of specialty drinks at Starbucks or different cafes. A lot of people don't know about these things and y'all should, you know, want to try these things out and give it a try. Because if you mix flavors with different types of drinks, um, it can come out dynamic. Me saying that. I actually want to take the time out to challenge you guys. I have made a drink at Starbucks and I've been selling it, kinda. Yeah, I've been selling it. At first I was doing samples and then I started telling people how to, you know, bring it in um, so they can actually have it as a drink for them to have as they leave happy out the door. And the beverage is based off a candy bar that I had, but it was pumpkin spice caramel. And it was like, everything I could ever ask for. When I had that candy bar, I was so inspired, guys. It was crazy. I was really, really inspired to make it. And now that it's the fall and, you know, pumpkin spices out, people are doing pumpkin chais. Yes to the pumpkin chais. Like, I love it. I've been drinking it myself. It's phenomenal, guys. But, I do want to challenge you guys to create this drink for yourselves, inspired by the fall and the pumpkin spice. And the name is Caramel Candy Corn Macchiato. I know it sounds like a lot and it sounds like it's just like dripping in sugar. I have found the way to make it still delish without messing up the pumpkin because the pumpkin is already you know has a lot of heavy heaviness so putting caramel into it makes it even more sweeter so to balance that off if you was to get a grande it would be four pumps of pumpkin spice I do in this drink Two pumps of pumpkin spice, two pumps of caramel, but it's topped off not with whipped cream because it is a macchiato. I do want those shots to go on top so you can get the full effect of the froth, frothiness of the foam, the shots being layered into everything and going down to the you know the syrups and it's like heaven um so it's topped off with foam 
not whipped cream, but it does have mocha drizzle and pumpkin spice. Spice. So, if you ever want to give that a try at Starbucks or any cafe that you're going to, guys, please definitely try the caramel candy corn macchiato. It is delish. A lot of people, as of my customers and co-workers and higher-ups, have enjoyed the cup that they have. This is not sponsored by Starbucks, just so you know. Not at all. It's just something that I wanted to talk about because it's not just working at Starbucks. It's me being the barista. And I get a lot of joy out of being the barista for the company. And I feel like I do a great job. Tell me, guys. Let me know what you think about this drink if you do try it. And let me lo know if you learned anything from this video. You know, definitely subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Um, so definitely do that if you want to hit me up anywhere. All my information is everywhere. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace, love.